Who am I? I'm Ryan Nelson. I'm 20 years old. I've got a younger brother who's 18. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm currently a junior at the University of Tennessee studying advertising. What's your idea? Our idea for this new driver is combining my creativity with Brandon's knowledge to create the most unique and technologically advanced driver on the golf market today. Describe your eureka moment. Our eureka moment pretty much happened when I'm just hanging out at my place. Brandon shoots me a text. Um, he's watching Serena Williams on TV. So he says, um, what if we incorporated the pattern and uh, material on the tennis racket and put it into the uh, head of the golf driver? So I'm like, okay. So I went ahead and played with a few uh, ideas I had. And that's how we ultimately came up with the honeycomb pattern for the face of the driver. What obstacles have you overcome? Uh, what obstacles have I overcome? Um, well, both my parents have had cancer. My mom had it back when I was in middle school. My dad just got diagnosed a couple months ago. So um, it's all good, no big deal. It just has taught me to look on the bright side no matter what the situation is and stay positive, keep moving forward. Everything's gonna be good. If we ask your closest friend what would they say they love about you and what drives them crazy? Uh, if you ask my closest friend what they love about me, I would say uh, they love the energy I bring to any situation and the positive uh, outcome that I look for in any situation. I, I always want to be the outgoing person. Uh, I love making everyone around me feel better and happier when I'm there. And Something they might hate about me is uh, my competitiveness. I'm pretty competitive in anything that I do, whether it's Xbox, cards, golf, golf especially, uh, any sport, everything. I'm just, I'm just a competitive guy, but sometimes I go a little too far. What do you plan to do with the money? What do I plan to do with the money? Um, I plan to help my family, pay for school, pay off all my student loans, and then buy my brother a sweet new car. Um, he just, uh, he's in the Marines, he's 18 years old, and he would go crazy for an awesome new car because that he's always dreamed of. So I'd love to give him that surprise a few years down the road and just make his day. Who is your hero? Who is my hero? My hero is definitely Michael Jordan. I've looked up to him since I was six months old. I've watched film of him over and over and over. Um, it's not just how great he is at basketball, it's just his whole personality and how he carries himself, uh, the positive outlook he has on life, and just the, just the competitiveness and will to win. And I love that about him, and that's how I try to uh, carry myself at all times. Tell us about a key moment in your childhood. A uh, key moment in my childhood would be, uh, I'd say it's about freshman year in high school. Uh, Brandon and I, my whole team, we walk into uh, a basketball tournament in Atlanta. And, you know, I'm young. I'm like, I'm, I want to go to a huge college. I want to I go big in uh, college basketball, make it to the pros. Well, right when I walked in that gym, that's when I realized, nope, you're, uh, you're not doing that, so you know what? That's fine. <laughs> I realize that's, uh, that's not me, and I, it's pushed me more towards what I'm geared to doing, which is sports production, which is what I wanna do later on in life, and I'll still be doing what I love, so it all works out great. What are the best and worst parts about rooming with your teammate? Best and worst parts about rooming with my teammate? Uh, well, Brandon and I roomed together freshman year in the dorms. They were about two by two insanely small so you can imagine we probably get on our nerves a lot but surprisingly no we always get along uh, we love to do everything together we're always there for each other um, I know he's got my back he's got mine so that's the best part about rooming with him the worst part is probably when I thought I've come back from a long day of uh, school but Brandon's got back from about 15 hours of engineering classes and he's still studying up until midnight, and I'm coming home, and I just want to have fun. I want to have a good time. But nope, Brandon can't, so you know what? 
he kind of forces me to study with him. You know, it, it turns out, uh, it works out for the, bo uh, the best for both of us. So it's all right, I can't complain. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Brandon Jones. I'm 20 years old. I'm the youngest two brothers in my family. I'm currently studying biomedical engineering at the University of Tennessee. My hometown is Nashville, Tennessee. Nice. What's your idea? Our idea. Our idea is not only create a new driver that performs better than every other driver on the market now, but also appeals to the younger generation of golfers such as myself and Ryan. Nice. Describe your eureka moment. <laughs> Our eureka moment. Well, I was sitting down watching tennis one day, uh, Serena Williams play actually. So then I thought, wouldn't it be a cool idea if we used a mesh design on the tennis racket on a golf driver? So then I shot Ryan a text message and he, uh, he kind of ran with it and sent me back some ideas of like a honeycomb pattern or kind of like a stamp sheet metal pattern. And that's where he came up with our idea for the new golf driver. What obstacles have you overcome? The biggest obstacle I'd say I probably overcame was freshman year. I moved to a new city in Nashville and actually got cut from the basketball team. So like you said, when you're a kid, you know, mostly everything's handed to you. So I was cut. That, that was the first time really where I looked at myself and said, I have to work hard for this, where you don't get a trophy for finishing last or just doing anything. It's either first or last now and you have to work hard for it. If we ask your closest friend, what would they say about you and what drives them crazy? See, if you were to ask any of my friends, they say about me, they say I'm a good person, I'm nice. I'll tell you the truth to your face, which sometimes it hurts you, but honestly, you need someone like that to tell you that. And the thing that probably drives them crazy is sometimes I'm sort of a perfectionist. So uh, Ryan over there, we're kind of a, that kind of gets to him sometimes when I tell him what to do or how to do stuff like that. Um, what do you plan to do with the money? Uh, how would it change your life? What do you think you'd spend it on? Well, first thing first I would do with this money is I would look at my parents in the eyes and tell them that you don't have to pay for my college anymore. Then that would bring the joy not only to myself but to them, knowing that all their hard work and sacrifice that they had to do paid off. Then the rest of the money I would use to go to grad school and get a master's in biomedical engineering. You're killing it. Um, who's your hero? See, my hero is no doubt my mom. She grew up in a poor family in downtown Atlanta and had nothing handed to her. She had to work her ass off to get anything she wanted. And eventually she got her electrical engineering degree from Vanderbilt University and use that degree to make a better family for not only herself, but for my brother and I, and that's where I am today because of her. Nice. Tell us about a key moment in your childhood. Uh, let's see, key moment in my childhood. This is probably when I moved to Nashville when I was a freshman year. I moved from Atlanta to Nashville. Then when I moved from Atlanta, I thought my whole life was being ripped out from under me that nothing could get better. But when I eventually got to Nashville, it taught me that even though things seem bad now, it's your life is nowhere. You don't know what's gonna happen one year from now, two years from now. And if I didn't move from Atlanta to Nashville, I wouldn't have met my best friends that I have now. You know, their parents are mentors in my life, basically second parents to me. And that made me a better person and better overall experience that everyone needs. All right, last one. What are the best and worst parts about rooming with your teammate? <laughs> See, the best part about rooming with Ryan is probably we're always entertained, you know, for the good or worse. We always find something to do, mostly in the form of uh, pranking some of our friends, or, you know, even pranking each other every now and then, which either goes really good or really bad, depending on who you are. I say the worst part about rooming with uh, Ryan is he's a little bit of a messy person. He kind of, it's kind of like his personality. Like I'm, a, I have to know where certain things are. For like for me to feel good about myself, but he's the kind of person where he'll worry about it tomorrow. Then uh, I'll just let everything, <laughs> let everything loose. How long have you all known each other? Describe how you met. 
Orion moved to Nashville sometime in middle school, and I moved to Nashville my freshman year in high school. So then we ended up playing on the same basketball team in high school. Then through that bond, we became best friends. So we'd hang out with each other before practice, after practice, during the weekends, during class, in between class. And it's a bond that stuck to till today. Yeah, and the craziest part about all of that and how we became best friends is we actually both grew up in Atlanta, no more than 15 minutes away from each other, and we had no idea who each other were. So we grew up playing who knows how many peewee football, basketball games against each other. And now instead of playing against each other, we're on the same team, and it's made us into who we are today, knowing each other and growing up together. Have your personality, strengths, and weaknesses complement each other as teammates? Well, personality-wise, Nelson's more outgoing, creative kind of person. I'm the more laid-back, analytical, realist, as I'd probably say of the group. So for this competition especially, Nelson would come with these crazy ideas, and I would get with them, I would sit down and say, all right, are these practical? How do these actually work? Can they actually work? So then I would say, all right, X, Y, and Z are good ideas. Kind of come up with the design. I'll look for it, and I'll say, and I'll come up with like say the materials we could use to actually make this design work, and how we can make our idea come to life. And that's pretty much what we did to create our whole driver concepts for this. All right, number three. What was the last argument you had with your teammate, <laughs> and how did you resolve it? Brandon knows what this one's going to be. All right, um, so. It's exam week. I don't have an exam. Brandon does. I'm bored. He's in the library. I'm back at the dorm. So <laughs> I'm texting him, asking when he's getting back. I just want to hang out, party, have a good time. But no, Brandon's saying, oh, I'll be here for a while. So I'm like, you know what? I am bored. I'm going to do something to you. So I get a recycling bin in our room. It's about this big, this high. I put it on top of our door to get into the room and I kind of string it up so right when he opens the door, the entire thing flips and all the water just basically pours all over him. So it went how I thought it would go and unfortunately I, uh, I did that. I shouldn't have and I did. So yeah, big old brawl. We I mean, got, we're used to playing we, pranks on each other, but that was... I might have that, taken it too that, far. That was a little too far. I was looking for blood that night. <laughs> but, like, but it's worth it now. We're over, yeah, we got over it. This is how we resolved it. We A uh, couple wrestling matches later and three noise complaints, and <laughs> we're good. So, yeah. It's a funny story to tell. Yeah. Won't forget that one. Uh, why did your team decide to join the competition? Go for well, it. Well... We personally believe that our creativity and our analytical background and our youth especially to create a new modern era looking driver that no one's seen before will separate ourselves from all the other competitors and give us not only uh, you guys but all the competitors and everyone else out there new ideas of what drivers can be and the future of what drivers should be. Oh yeah. Um. All right, what would viewers enjoy about watching this team compete on driver versus driver? Well, first of all, we're, we're probably the, some of the younger guys that would be on the show. Uh, we would bring that perspective, the youthful perspective into it, especially the fun, energetic, and outgoing personalities that we have. And that would really uh, attract a lot of viewers and people pulling for us in the competition. Not only for that, but also we are serious about this and We've, we've brainstormed and come up with so many ideas for this, and we really think we can make a huge impact in this competition and really compete for the top spot. So, yeah, give us a chance, and you won't regret it. And now, finally, is there anything else we would like to add? When can we start? Yes, sir. <laughs>